Hi everybody, this is Jeremy Moskowitz, Group Policy MVP, and uh, in this video I want to talk to you a little bit about ADM files and how they uh, they don't always work the way you expect. So let's let's go ahead and talk about you know any old application like say WinZip by way of example. If you go to say Options Config here and you go to Passwords, you might want to dictate these uh, little checkboxes here using ADM files. All right, great. So let's go ahead and experiment with that. So I've got an ADM file over here that I'm going to use, and uh, the technical term is consume into a group policy object. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, use WinZip ADM, call that my group policy object name, click edit here, and under user side, policies, admin templates, well, you know, there is no WinZip stuff here by default because it's not in the box. So I'll right click and I'll add remove templates, click on add, and I'll get my WinZip ADM file. Now, as soon as I do this, you can see the little classic ADM template shows up here. And you can see I've got four uh, little settings here. Now, how are those settings generated? Well, inside this ADM file, if I use Notepad here, and I take a look at WinZip ADM, you can see that I've got one, two, three, four sections, okay? And each section modifies value. This one is lowercase and uppercase and numeric and symbol characters. All right, so now that we've got these settings, let's go ahead and uh, let's see how ADM files can help us. We'll go ahead and click on Enabled here. We'll go ahead and do that for all these guys. Next, enabled, next, and enabled. Okay, so now we're delivering all four of these checkboxes. So let's go ahead and go over to our target machine and run GP update. Okay, so as you might expect, when group policy applies, either the very first time you log on or in the background, you're going to get this group policy object and therefore set your WinZip settings. Now, hold on to that thought for two seconds. Let's go ahead and watch WinZip. Options, config, passwords, and sure enough, the ADM file delivered those settings. And you think to yourself, well, great. So now that they're delivered, if a user goes to work around those settings and clicks OK and closes it, well, what happens the next time you run WinZip? Well, the next time you run WinZip, a whole lot of nothing happens. That's the first problem because group policy itself only updates in the background and at log on time. So you think to yourself, no problem, I'll just wait for um, group policy to uh, refresh again in the background. So we'll simulate that with a, with a GP update and we'll force group policy to, uh, to download again right here. And as soon as it's done, you'll think, oh, I'll go over to WinZip and I'll run that again, go to options config and hey, nothing changed. Hmm, why did that not happen? Well, it didn't happen because group policy with regards to ADM and ADMX files will only deliver those settings exactly one time. I know it's a brain burner. It only delivers those settings exactly one time um, because what happens is that internal, the version number of the group policy object hasn't changed. So people think, oh, I know, I'll just have the user log off and log back on again, and that'll that'll fix everything up, won't it? Well, let's let's see what happens. Let's run WinZip again as the user. Go to Options Config, and oh, it still doesn't work. So, if you've seen this, this is your ADM file. You're delivering it to the user, and it does work because they get it the first and only time. And then the next time they want to work around it and uh, uh, group policy updates, it doesn't update those settings. And that is a big bummer. So that is the problem with ADM files. It can deliver settings, but it doesn't maintain those settings. So as soon as a user works around those settings, you are in the bad place. So let's... Um, Let's talk about Policy Pack. Policy Pack is a commercial utility that actually is a free mode and a commercial mode. So instead, uh, let me go ahead and unlink this group policy object, and I'll create a new one here called uh, Lockdown WinZip using uh, Policy Pack. All right. So uh, like I said, there's a free version and a commercial version, and everything I'm actually showing here is uh, uh, should be part of the, the free version. So if I go to Policy Pack Applications here, And then I'll right click 
and select new application and policy pack ships with a lot of pre-configured packs so uh, you know really important things things that store stuff in the registry like uh, Acrobat and WinZip and things that are a lot harder to configure like Firefox and Java and Flash so long story short let's go down and find uh, for the purposes of this talk let's talk about WinZip again and we'll go ahead and click on that guy and you know you'll notice that it looks a lot like uh, you know the actual application itself so that part is really pretty cool and so under passwords let's go ahead and check all four of those check boxes okay so this is now policy pack delivering these settings we will go ahead and click OK here we're delivering all four of the check boxes we'll go back here and because policy pack utilizes uh, the group policy engine in the same way where uh, ADM files ADMX files and preferences utilize the group policy engine as soon as group policy is delivered, um, the policy pack directives ride right along with it. So here we go. So GP update is, uh, is finishing up, and then we'll go ahead and run WinZip, and let's see what happens. We'll go to Options Config, go over to Passwords, and hey, look at that. Policy pack has delivered all four of those settings. So remember, when we used ADM files, the, we just said the user can just unclick all four of these guys and just cheerfully work around the application. Okay, well, that, that's, uh, that's not good, but uh, let's see what happens with Policy Pack, because with Policy Pack, it's actually very different. When you rerun WinZip, no GP update required. You just go to Options Config again and shabam. Policy Pack puts back in the application settings without group policy being involved. Let me say that again, because that's like really important. Once the settings are on the machine, Policy Pack re-delivers the applications every single time the application is launched. And I can even go the extra mile to prove a point, and I'll disconnect the network cables. Let me go and open up the Network and Sharing Center, and I'll, uh, I'll disconnect my uh, network cables here. Actually, I'll do this a different way. Yeah. Change adapter setting. Just to prove a point, I'll disable my network connection. All right. And now we can all agree there's no way on planet Earth that I am uh, I'm connected. You can see Windows has responded here. But with Policy Pack uh, doing its thing, it doesn't matter. As soon as the application is relaunched, because the settings have already been delivered, they are always re-delivered, online or offline. That is super awesome. Let me go ahead and re-enable this. Now, um, what I just showed you is the delivery of the settings. Wouldn't it be great if you could also, you know, not have user shenanigans in the first place? And that is a cool policy pack superpower. Let me show you what that looks like. So here, in back, back in the group policy object, back on my management station, let's go back over to passwords and let's right click over this checkbox and disable the corresponding control in the target application. And over here, we're going to hide the corresponding control in the target application. So I'm going to gray one out, and I'm going to hide the other one. So that, in and of itself, is pretty awesome. Let's go ahead and see what we can do there. We'll run GP update on the target machine. And we'll wait for this to finish. All right, there we go. Let's head on over to WinZip, go to Options Config, go over to Passwords, and shabam. So, Yes, we're delivering all four checkboxes, but more importantly than that, if we want to prevent user shenanigans in the first place, you can see here that we've literally grayed out the UI so the user can't work around it. But there's even something more you can do. So inside the application itself, the user could still uncheck the checkbox or move these items to some place that maybe you don't want them to go at all. And in, during while the app is running, it'll actually you know maintain those settings. So wouldn't it be great if you could actually ensure that when policy pack is delivering your settings it's also locking down the applications ACLs, so the actual um, uh, entries themselves so if we go over to passwords here we can right click over these and perform ACL lockdown for the access control list so we'll literally lock down the access control of the target application so let's go ahead and run GP update one last time to show uh, that we're, 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 we want to ensure that those settings are always going to uh, be what we want. All right, there we go. Let's go over to WinZip here, go to Options Config, go to Passwords, and if a user does some shenanigans that they shouldn't do, they uncheck values or change some settings, well, we make it so that they are not even going to work while the application is running. So. 
when it comes to setting your application's settings, uh, ADM files seem like a good idea, but there's, there's a big downside. The big downside of using ADM files or ADMX files is that, yeah, sure, it delivers the setting, but then users can just cheerfully work around the setting. Those settings are not reapplied, and there's no magical lockout stuff. Only with Policy Pack, which hooks into the group policy engine, can sort of take your what you want with your application and actually truly um, ensure that you know what you what you want to set is what they're going to get. So the idea here is that we've uh, ensured that. All four checkboxes are checked, or whatever your application settings are, and even while the app is running, no shenanigans can actually occur. That is the key point of how Policy Pack works. So, with that in mind, uh, if you're interested in learning more about this, you can uh, come to uh, one of the webinars that we do at policypack.com, and I hope to see you there. Thanks so very much. Take care.